Come and see her for yourself. Because of my ancestors. Isia, what is wrong with you? Father, I don't know. All of a sudden, I, I started feeling like someone poured go without me on the Amatan morning. I'm freezing with cold. It's malaria fever. But Nai, her, her body temperature is very normal. That's why I came to call you. What manner of malaria fever could come without any change in body temperature? Hmm. Strange. Very strange. Anyway, uh, I'll get her some antidote. Eh? Come with me. No. You are suspecting something. What is it? Is she in trouble? Her mother had eight children before her, and only she survived. I had to marry when it became obvious that Ifoma could not give me more children. It was something we mutually agreed to. Only that she allowed jealousy to take the better part of her, which led her to some tragic mistake that spoiled everything. And... Can I please stop? You know how much I hate discussing that incident. Well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay, Nai. Nai, were you trying to say that Isiak is an Obanje? Only such could justify a strange fever on a maiden like her. Because of our ancestors. Nai, it's a very bad thing for her Obanje spirit to start manifesting none of all times. She's getting married soon. What will Azuka and his people say if they get to hear about it? Hi. That could mean an end to that proposed marriage. And Isiak will be devastated. Now we need to look for solution. Immediately and secretly. I can't stand any other thing, but I can't stand seeing Isiak and the Beresh being unhappy. And they will not be. Uh, I'll get to go with the Obanje spirit priestess to take care of it. In fact, I'm more worried about something else, which is the sacrifice at the Ahijoku shrine today. It is the, my family's turn to provide the sacrificial item this year. And in line with the custom and tradition, only a maiden from our family can bear those sacrificial items to a joke shrine. Nine. And this fever has ruled Isiako out completely. That's true. Uh, Ibudu, the chief priest, will soon be here with some elders. Nine, nine, would they accept your second daughter? I don't know, but one thing is certain. I will never allow Isiaku to suffer the humiliation of being an Obanje spirit possessed medium going public. Where is Ebeleishi? Nah, she went to cook for Emeka, her fiancé. Go and get her back and prepare her for the journey to the Ahijoku shrine now. Nah, nah, we do just that. Nah, please, stay with Isiaku. Nai, what do we tell the elders if they ask of uh, Isiako? Don't worry, I'll prepare a good cover story. Love. Hmm? Oh, mm -hmm. The love of my life. <laughs> Baby, I love you so dearly. I love you very much. <laughs> I just need to spend the rest of my life with you. Eberechi! Eberechi! Please come, come, come. We have to go home. Come, come. Mother! What's wrong? Calm down. Let's go home. Let's go home. We have to go home. Mother, let me come with you. Eberechi, come, 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 come. Mother, let me... We have to go home. Mother, let me come with you.
Awas lah. Ya. Oh, as a mo. Eh. You know why we are here, don't you? Uh, yes, I do. Um, Nken? Bring her out. As a more, leaders of our land, the sacrificial items are here, and the bearer also here. Huh? Your second daughter? Oh yes, my second daughter. The call of nature rendered the, 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 the first not qualified to make the trip to Ahedjok Shrine. She is with the blood. Okay, I see. Is there more? Let's go. Take the lead, my daughter. Hayajoko, gods of our ancestors, the time has come. Your children have come to ask for your blessings. They have come to ask for rain to bless this planted season. That you will bless them with abundance of crops even as the harvesting time will come. The time has come. Come down to bless them. You have promised to bless them before. I have drunk the time has come. The time has come. I call upon you, Yajoku. You have never disappointed us before. I know that you will not disappoint us this time. Come and bless your children. Send down your rain. We ask for your rain. Send down your rain. I have drunk for the last time. I call upon you. You have never disappointed me before. I know I am the mouthpiece of the gods. Whatever you ask me to say, that is what I say. I know you will not fail us. Bless them. Bless us with rain. So shall it be. Father! Hi, mosquito is biting you on your legs. Oh, don't worry, oh. Very soon, Ezemo will collect the yams from you and you'll be free. No, it's no mosquito bite. It's. Go to our land. Ah! Go to our land, why? What? A woman with blood in the train? Our daughter has been separated by the gods for the secreting their bodom. I had your That is not possible. Not my own daughter. How? Why? Now you are joking, aren't you? I wish I was joking. I wish I was joking, my wife, but you see, I am not. Hey, a better she came down with blood on the shrine of I had joke while the sacrifice was going on. Hey! Oh, I'm finished. Hey, hey. 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 <laughs> what? Isiako! I, I mean, I mean... She mistrusts me God's well. Minutes after you put left with uh, Eberechi. Hi! Hi! 
here to perform the ritual of separation, not to cry. Achike, collect the items from them and take them to the separated inside the shrine. Be careful not to make any physical contact with her, for it is a taboo to do so now. You are permanently separated from the rest of us for the next seven days and nights. During the period, you shall eat only roasted cocoyam. You shall have no extra covering on you, except the ones on you already. Neither shall you take your bath or clean the blood flowing out of you until the day it stops flowing. At the end of this, if you survive, then you shall take your bath in this shrine with the help of the old women of Umwele, with water fetched from the evil forest, mixed with the blood of a skunk, Nkapi, to cleanse the sacred ground you desecrated when you started flowing with blood here today. Without that, you shall remain separated and in this place until the day you die. One more thing. If you fail to keep the rules of the separation, you will be buried alive at the evil forest. Yes, at the evil forest. Is there anything you don't understand that I just said? I understand. Good. I do. Mother. Father. Emeka, my love. Please help me. I'm scared. I can't stay here alone. I can't stay here all day and all night. Please, I beg you, just help me, please. Calm down, my love. <laughs> Your father and I have decided to come here every night to keep you company. From the other side of the divide. Our customs and traditions 
forbid any form of company for someone under separation. And you should know that by now. Anyone that comes to keep her company of any kind shall be banished from Umwele for the rest of his or her life. And she be buried alive at the evil forest for failure to keep to the rules. I have spoken. Please help me. I can't stay here alone. Please, I beg you, don't go. If I had reported you to the elders, you would have had your manhood cut off and thrown to the gods at Uruala Shrine for that abominable thing you did. But you cried. You pleaded. You told me how you are an orphan and only child and promised to be at my service as long as I keep my mouth shut for the rest of your life. I did. And here you are, alive with your penis. It's 22 months after and your service is needed by Isiako. What manner of service that you had to bring me to this forest with such urgency to talk about Isiako? Whatever it is, you don't have the choice of saying no with what I know about you. Remember, if I choose to talk now, your manhood will still be cut off. Uh, am I sensing blackmail here? No, that's not the question. The question should be, what does Isiako want? As your father's only child, the continuity or otherwise of your father's lineage 
lies in your hand and this penis is the key what do you want from me Isiako? better Isiako wants Can the gods? Can the gods? Okay. Waka and the that I met you here. Look at this. Look at this. Look at hey! this. Yes. Did it to my planted seed yam. You are, you are joking. I I I hope you are you are, you are joking. Who did this to planted yam in Umwele? Ah! God of Umwele must take revenge. Hey! hey. Abomination! I am Joku. Hey! Umwele. Umwele. Where's everybody? Uh, and my husband went to call the elders and the chief priest for the ritual of reintegration. You know, Iberity is coming back today. Ah, I know, I know. That is why I'm here. Uh, Naya Waka sent a message to my mother and I to proceed to this place, you know, because of the big party you're about to throw. Uh, yeah. Uh, actually, my mother will come later. 
Uh, I decided to come now so that I can, uh, you know, help with some of the preparations. Oh, and my son, thank you very much. You're welcome. It's all right. Um, what about uh, what about Isiak, my love? Yeah, uh, she went to the stream to fetch water. Oh, <laughs> here she comes. My love. Yeah. <laughs> you see one. I know you. <laughs> Welcome, my daughter. <laughs> you see a good night. Welcome. Who could have committed such an abominable act in women? Who in evil land does not know that uprooting a planted seed yam is worst form of sin against a hedjoko? And a hedjoko could punish us with hunger and starvation. Eh? E e even there will be no rain for seven long years. Hey! Who did this to us? Who did this to us? You are right. Even a small child in Umuele knows that the culprit will be killed by Ayodhya within 48 hours and his body thrown to the to their aunt to consume. But that will be if the person is still in Umuele 48 hours after doing that. But what if he had left Umuele? What if he or she did it deliberately in order to punish us? And if Ayodhya did not see the culprit, he will turn is rot on us, our people. You are right. I had you could punish us severally. Eh? That, no, no. If you plant a yam here, it will never germinate. Mm. Hey, who did this to us? <coughs> who did this to us? There is no need for us to stay here be morning. Let us go straight to the Sriyan of Urala to consult. Mm? Let's do it very fast. Thank the gods. Thank the gods I met all of you here. Ability has broken the rules of separation. I saw Ability roasting and eating yam while I was crossing the, the shrine of Ahajoko a while ago. You, you are a bloody liar. Where, where, where could she have gotten the yams? Where, 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 where could she? Uh, it, it, uh, uh, how am I supposed to know that? Huh? Uh, uh, I'm not lying, no. I'm not lying. Uh, if, if, you, if, if people are doubting me, you, you can come and see for yourself. I'm not lying. No, too worry. Too worry. If I eventually found out that this is lying, oh, I will kill you. I will put an end to your, I will put an end to your miserable uh, life. It's, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, uh, you should go Go straight to him, the chief priest. Tell him what happened and that we are on our way to the shrine. Eh? Uh, you just let me. very big lie. I haven't even eaten since morning. I've been waiting till I get home. How could you could you tell such a lie? Stop lying and tell her the truth. I'm not lying. But please, let's just stop these jokes. Let's call the women, the old women that will come and wash me. Step back. She is as guilty as accused. I'm saying the truth. Oh, shut up! We are just coming back from a soldier at Skolom. We saw a Mecca, your fiancé, dead. Almost completely eaten up by the soldier ants. 
It was reported to me earlier this morning by a woman who saw him. Awaka! Who can? Did you hear that? It's not like I do. That kills and throws the person to follow the hands. For one reason, or one sin, and that is the sin of uprooting planted seed yams. Did it be that in the Yes! He is the one who uprooted the chill candles planted seed yams. That much is obvious. And logically too. He committed such a new abomination because of a marriage here. Where is the yam marriage? I don't know. And Ayajoko killed your fiancé just like that? Achiki, go inside the chair. Search for the yam or any sign of it. Not yams. Ah, yams. Aru. My own yams. My own yams. And what is inside that bag? More yams. More yams? Hey. What, what is sacrilege? Oh. Yams! Oh! Oh! Aru! Father, I'm innocent. I did not eat any yam. Mecca did not bring any yam to me. I have no idea how those yams got here. Please believe me. My Mecca, he never came to see me, day or night. I don't know if he's guilty as accused. But I am innocent. Father, mother, you know me. Please tell the chief priest and elders of Umrele that I have never told a lie in my life. Please, Father, plead for my curse. I'm tired. I really want to go home and rest. Please. Enough of this drama. Achike, Nana, bring her along. She is to be buried alive in the evil forest. No. I swear I'm innocent. I really did not do it. Father, mother, please help me. I don't want to be buried alive. Please, I beg you. I said go and bring her along. Please, I beg you. I don't want to be buried alive. Father, please help me. Stop! I said bring her here. I said stop! And I said bring her along. I want to be tried by the gods. Let the gods vindicate me or destroy me. Emirati, <laughs> do you know what you just... Yes, mother. 
I know what I said. But I cannot allow them bury me alive with the truth. For my life, the reputation of my family, and Emeka, whose memory is being scandalized here. I am ready. I am ready to be subjected to any process that leads to justice. Let the gods fight for me, if they are still gods of for no good. Gods of our ancestors. Yeah, she is. Accused of the worst kind of abomination in our land. On her own, she asked to be brought to the evil forest to be tried by you. We have done our part. Perform your part by sitting in judgment over her through the night. And if she is innocent, Keep her alive until we come back for her by sunrise tomorrow. If not, kill her. Let's go. Father, I understand how you feel. But it's been handed over to the gods. Cry no more. Just go home. Sleep tonight. And await my return tomorrow. I know. I know I'm innocent. I know I'm innocent. For no go. I'm my advocate. They have never failed their grief. Neither have they killed innocent people. You taught me that from infancy. Or don't you believe them anymore? My daughter, I am proud of you. I love you. Same here. Please send my regards. Send my regards to Mother and Isiako. Tell them how much I love them. You always remind me of that. A Berechi must not survive the judgment of the gods in the evil forest. If that happens, our people will consult oracles far and near to know the person behind the yam seed uprooting and deal with the person accordingly. That was what my father said before I sneaked out of my father's compound to come and meet you. Are you aware of that? I'm leaving Umele tonight. Thank you for finally driving me out from the land of my bed. Too late for that. You are not leaving Umele. In fact, you must never leave Umele until Eberich is dead. She must not survive in that evil forest till sunrise tomorrow. The gods do not kill the innocent. I told you that. Right from the day you started blackmailing me into your evil skin. Mm -hmm. Now that she has placed her life in the hands of the powerful ghost, who will kill her for you? Shoo. What? Now I know it. Now I know that you're out of your mind. No human being 
touches anyone that is being judged by the gods till they are true. And anyone who does will instantly be killed by the gods. And you know it. A very potent chant I got from one of the most powerful Dibi around the world. He said that if you wear this, no spirit, no matter how powerful, will harm you. That was his exact word. And you believed him? Of course I have to. He's been the one making chants for my father over the years and he has never failed. I have no reason to doubt him. Besides, I'll be coming with you. You... you... Yes. I have a role to play to ensure the efficacy of the charm. He said I should go with you and strip naked nearby and what you do with. That the spirit can never kill someone in the presence of a naked virgin. But if you don't want to do it, you leave me with no option than to go straight to the elders of Umwili and tell them everything I know about you, including the yam operating, Emeka's mother, everything. If you're thinking of exposing me, don't worry, I'll do that myself and slash my throat immediately. What? But, 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 what, 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 what? what if I ask you to do your worst? You are neither suicidal nor stupid, are you? Okay, okay. Tell me, why are you this desperate? to kill your own blood sister? Well, the answer to that question is irrelevant, but if you must know, I'll tell you. Ujena wamo! If over you killed my Ujena! Hey, my only son. <laughs> what is the verdict, wise one? The elders decided to follow what our tradition detects for corporates in situations like this. And the gods have given their consent. Youths, come with her at once. Let me hug my daughter. There is no time for that, woman. Come with her at once. The loss of the land gives a person in my position the privilege of a last wish. That hog is my wish. She is right. Your wish is granted. Isiak, come. Come, my daughter. Avenge me. Do everything you must to make sure that total peace and joy are strangers to this family. And as long as you live, don't feel remorse ever. I love you, my daughter. I love you too, mother. I know you do. Proud to me that you can do it. I love you, mother. Thank you, my daughter. Thank you, dear. Youth, let's go. Why are they taking you, mother? Don't worry, my daughter. When you grow up, you will know. Goodbye. Mother! I made sure Iberichi's mother and my father never laughed for too long in that house. That they never experienced peace by killing every child they had after Iberichi before they are three months. I tried killing Iberichi, but all my efforts seemed abortive. Over 20 attempts to mother Iberichi, even when she was still an infant, and all failed. Last year, after Idibia told me she can only be killed by the community of the gods, I started planning everything that has happened to her. 
starting from the day she menstruated at the shrine. I was never ill. I never had fever. I did all that deliberately so she can go to the shrine during the sacrifice. Knowing fully well she is 100% likely to start menstruating. I monitored her menstrual circle for 18 months. I want her dead. I want her mother childless. I want my father to die miserably. I can never be happy until I avenge my mother's death. But what? Hey, shut up your mouth. I am not here for an argument. Are you ready to do exactly what I asked? Or you want me to go straight to the elders and tell them everything? I am determined to die. I am not scared of losing anything. That is the truth. I'm sure you have a lot to care about. Your father's lineage, your manhood. Are we going or not? I came here to kill you. Huh? Yes. The same way I killed the maker. I want the truth to be buried once and for all. So it was you? It was you who killed the maker? And threw his body into a Sujo ant colony? The seed, yes. You did that too. Yes. Yes, I did all that. I planted the seed yams earlier today when you were sleeping. Don't even bother asking me why I did all that. Because I won't tell you anything. Enough of all these questions and answers. Let me do what I came here to do and go back home and rest. What? The charm failed. The charm failed and Iberichi is still alive. Thank the gods the idiot told you all I told him to tell you before dying. Thank the gods the idea came to me on my way to this place. That would at least keep me beyond suspicion in all that has happened and more importantly give me time and space to make another plan and wait for another opportunity to completely avenge my mother on you your mother and your father yes this is not the 
end at all. What happened? How, how did he die? Speak to me. I'm thirsty. Tell you, you think we came here to joke? No, not joking. No. Oh, yeah. Because of a lot. You want to rape me? Huh? Huh? Who are you for God's sake? Who are you? Oh, please don't do this. I'm a widow. Are you not afraid of the gods? Huh? Listen. Are you not aware that? It is a taboo in the land of Omele for a man to have sex with a woman who is still mourning her late husband. Bikonu, I beg you, please don't do this. I beg you. Oh? Mm. Have you finished talking? Eh? Oh yeah, remove your clothes now. No, 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 no. You? Oh. Even you? Uh huh. Asuk, Iruka. No. Look, are you going to have the plan as uh, have fun with us? You planned or not? Asuk, are you mad? She will expose us. Can't you see she has already seen our faces? Can't you see it? Let me tell you. You're talking Yanyampo. You're just talking uh, this thing. Are you going to have fun with her first? Or you want me to go and do it first? Are you out of your mind? I'm inside my mind. Huh? Azuka. Good wisdom. My late husband is his father's younger brother. Yeah. Are you done with your salmon? No, are you done with your salmon? In fact, you've already worsened the issue. If you produce, deliver, alter, say anything here again, I am going to cut you into tiny pieces. Now what you move yeah. it. Lie down and do, do, remove your clothes. Do my yeah. Oh yeah, sit down. Yeah. Kaya. Yeah. Sit down. Hey, hey. Okay. Uh, yeah, you want yeah. to do what? You want to uh 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 the supremacy of the spiritual over the mortal man cannot be overemphasized. That is why the spiritual will always control the physical. The mortal man, even with his eyes wide open, cannot discern spiritual realities because his existence 
is merely accidental. That is why, through servants of the Spirit, like Igbudu is here to guide the mortal man to where he is going. Oh, to do bele, oh, bele, patak, patam, patak, 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 patam. Again? When the sun and the rain begin to drag for a place up in the sky, is that not the sign of trouble? But why? Why Uzuma, my late brother's wife? A woman in mourning? Surely, they are not ignorant of the consequences. Oh yes, no wonder whoever the gods want to destroy, they first make blind. I think it's time now that I stop them before they destroy everybody in this village. Oh yes, I must have to. I must have to. There's trouble. Yes. Before I could finish, she passed out. Is that why you're panting? Is that why you are panting? Four rounds from you, three rounds from you, what do you expect? Is she a log of you? Look, let us go back and finish when you start it. Uh, how do you mean? Don't tell me you want to... I am the only son of my mother who is a widow and has gone beyond the age of childbearing. You understand? That woman, I will not let her go beyond today. Eh? That's okay. My dear friend, let me ask you. Will you accept to be executed in an evil forest for raping a widow who is still mourning her husband? Will you? Can your family live with the disgrace and the shame? I mean, with the shame and the disgrace? Let me tell you. We have to complete what we started. Anyhow you look at it, we're already criminals. We are already criminals, so we have to do it. Yes! Mwele, a chicken Azuka, my own brother's wife. And his friend Achike Look at what he did to a fellow woman. I, 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 Quiet. I am not here to listen to your thoughts. I'm here to give you a message for your son. He must go and report himself to the elders of your community. He should tell them what they did to me. Else, I will destroy him. He must go. I said, soonest. Soonest, Akuna.
Azoka, how could you? How could you, Azoka? A woman mourning her late husband. Hey! After all the huge sacrifices I offered to the gods to, to save you from the curses your sister placed on you, you still went ahead and did this. Achike's father and I agreed that both of you should get married. The maidens were even on ground. Yet you went ahead and, and did what you did. How can I save you now? Hi. Why did I even get entangled with this? Why did I hide you all these years from the atrocities you committed against women? Why? Oh. And must stop sounding like this now. Eh? Stop sounding this way. Eh? I don't like the way you are sounding. Please. I, I, I don't want this woman's ghost to kill me. Biko. Eh? Mama, remember I'm your only child. Though. So for that, you wouldn't heed my advice to stop raping women all these years, right? Well, you are right. I have been hiding your raping spree. Both in Umele and the Digo communities. Just because I don't want to be childless. But it seems the gods, the gods are using that one thing I feared against me. By you going ahead to rape and murder a widow and with the threat from her spirit, covering you up will be out of the question. So I think it is better for you to report yourself to the elders, like she said, or she will kill you. I know you can help me. You, you, you did it before. Please do it again this time. Biko, eh? How? Azoka, how? We are not talking about humans here. We are talking about the angry spirit of a woman you violated and killed. I cannot help you. Uh, oh, okay, the first person Achike and I raped was my younger sister. Despite that, Mama, you married her out knowing fully well that she will die during childbirth. You lied to her. You and Achike's father lied to her that you've offered sacrifices to the gods, that nothing was going to happen to her. Uh, when she realized that you lied to her during labor, she cursed Achike and I before she died. That we will continue raping until we destroy ourselves in the process. When you realized that the curse could not be broken, you vowed to me that you will continue protecting me in case such thing happened again. Reason was, if the case was reported to the elders, you, me, Achike and his father would have been executed for it. Mama, I remember all these things. Why are you sounding differently now? Why are you sounding differently, Mama? Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I sound differently? Or how, why would I act differently? Eh? Okay. Since then, tell me. Since then, how many other women have you raped? Twelve. Have I not kept to my own side of the story? I have kept to my word. Why would you go to the extent of raping and killing your victim this time around? How can I possibly protect you from... The angry spirit of the dead. Tell me. Uh, uh, Mama, I know that Achike's father is a powerful priest. If you go to Achike's father, both of you can do something. Mama, please, do something now. Eh? Do something and cover me up. I don't want to die. Wait, oh, Azoka. You said that Achike's father caught you at the scene of the crime. He did, though. What did he do? He didn't do anything. He just walked out. He couldn't even wait to listen to what I was saying. He just walked out. Well, if a man as powerful as Achike's father could not help you, I wonder what you think a mere woman like me can do. It is better for you to do as the spirit had instructed. Go and report yourself, then or she will kill you. Mama, it's again. Sorry, I can't help. You can't help me. It's all right, no problem. <clears throat> I've heard what you said. Eh? I am going to report myself as the ghost requested. But before I do that, 
and will report all the rape cases that we've been involved in. I will start with the one that involved my younger sister. <laughs> Mama, leave me, let me talk. Yes, I will start with that one. And I will also report how you and Atike's father have been covering up all the rape cases in this village. Where are you going? Of course, to the elders. Hey, come, come my son. You don't need to go to the elders. Eh? We can actually resolve it here and now. I will help. No, no, no. no we can resolve it here. What I did to Aboma, your son's betrothed wife, is just a warning. And that will be the last warning. Get your son to go and report what they did to me to the elders. Or be prepared to bury him when next I come. Like I said, last warning. Cry to the land of the dead and do nothing to you. You were wrong. You were wrong, son. You were wrong. What? How? How did you know? Also, my spirit appeared at the same day and my mother died. Her spirit was left here before you arrived. And she said the next time she will be here, it will be your turn. Except you report what you did to her. Possibly do that. Father, this is like asking me to go and commit suicide. Is your wretched life more important than ours? Is your wretched life more precious than ours? If you are counting on me for protection this time around, count me off. I told you the last time that the gods want me against that if I ever love my life. But listen to me. If you were counting on me to disobey the gods, to save you again because you are my only son, you lied. Listen to me very well. I swear it to you, before Uruala and all the gods of our land, that I will never get involved again. May the gods of our land kill me if I ever give again. You're walking out of me, father. Oh, okay, good. If you walk out of me, I will do exactly what you ask me. Every rep case 
every rape case I've been involved in this village, and I will tell them how you've been covering it up because I'm the only son. alone and go for ordinary woman to have fun with. Did I not tell you? Because you watched her through the window having sex with your uncle. You said to yourself, you must have a taste of her body and it will not pass today. Was that not what you told me? Was it not what you told me? Go, sh 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 shut up. Shut up. Now, when you failed to handle her as a man and allowed her to blow your cover, let me ask you, how would we have covered our tracks if we did not kill her? How? Azuka, Luka! Azuka, Luka! Azuka, Luka! I don't want to die. I don't want to die too. I don't want to die. I don't want to die too. If I go crazy in her car, you better. What I want, you need to put Jiluchi there. Jiluchi in her car. Azuka, what I'm supposed to be listening now? Now, what you're supposed to be telling me now is how to, what to do to live. Yes, the only thing you have to do now is to shut up. Let us wait for my mother's arrival because she went to consult the Dibia. That is what I'm doing now. Yes, I'm a, 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 I'm The moment this necklace leaves your neck, you will be at the mercy of Ozoma's angry ghost. So said Titibia. For me to get these two necklaces, I was condemned to eating my own stool each time I go to the toilet. No thanks to both of you. Thank you. Thank you very much for doing this to me. Thank you. tomorrow we are today why would you say that i said so because i cannot wait to come to your end and meet your parents to pay your bride price do you know i love you so much i love you so much that each day that passes by and i did not spend it with you i feel so empty <laughs> well i love you too and i know you love me so much but you have to be more patient a little more patience. Very soon, we'll spend the rest of our life together. Thanks for seeing me off. Uh, 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 you see, accompanying you to wherever you go is a duty I love to perform. Please, let's 
have the tightest hug ever for this land. <laughs> Please take care of yourself. Right. Bye bye. Ah, my love. There's something I took from you when you were sleeping in your house. And what would that be? No, 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 please. You can't take it. Please, what? give it to me. I just said I took it because I like it. Yes, but this, this, this particular... Let me tell you, you can take anything you want from me. You can ask for anything and have it, but this one, you cannot have it. You didn't it. just say that, did you? I, 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 I am sorry, oh, but... Oh, please spare me that useless sorry. As far as I'm concerned, I don't care about how sorry you are. Take it. But if you live with this necklace, forget that you ever met someone like me. Because I can't spend the rest of my life with a man who attaches more importance to a man necklace than the feelings I have for him. Are you ready to take it? I take that for you. Don't kill me! spirit is angry indeed. Why didn't you come straight after parting with Isia? A wise one. It's only my mother that knew this place before now. I, I, I ran to her to tell her what happened. In fact, I, I had gone in dog on her instruction to get money to proceed to your place before I saw the ghost. Please help me. You took the right decision to come to me immediately after the seizure. Uzuma is planning to distress you publicly and finally kill you. If you ever step into Isaku's compound tomorrow, your next seizure will happen. Just as he's about to hand the acceptance wine over to you. Uh, may the gods forbid. In Idigo, epilepsy is regarded as a special kind of punishment from the gods for any hidden sacrilege committed by the victim. And first thing my people will do is to chase the victim out of Idigo and then consult the oracle to find out what he did. Uh, uh, wise one, if that happens, I will not just only lose Isiak, but I will be doomed forever. My son, Mother, don't, don't talk like that. Don't talk like that. You are my only son, for goodness sake. Mother, I swear, if I ever have seizure in public, I will take my own life. No. Mother, we are talking about disgrace, a total disgrace of not just only me, but for the entire family. Mother, what is life without honor? Our people are going to kill me if they find out. Don't. Don't, don't you, don't, don't, don't you understand? Don't, don't you understand? Azoka, nothing will happen to you. You will not die. You will live and marry Siako and give me grandchildren. I know of that. Mother, which maiden in this part of the world in her right senses will agree to marry an epileptic? I have committed a grave sin and that is it. Please allow me to do what Uzuma's ghost wanted. I am sure she's going to rest upon my death. No, 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 no
My son, you will not die. That is why we have come to consult to me. He was the one who gave me that necklace that protected you before. And I'm sure he will do it again. Just calm down. Oh? Wise one. There has to be a way out. There must be a cure for, for this epilepsy. You can pacify Ozoma's spirit or even cage, cage it. That is why we have come. Hey! Afanago! What shall I do? Getting the necklace back is out of the question. It lost its potency the moment she removed it. It's only the chief priest of Umuele on whose soil Ozuma was violated and murdered can save the situation by caging her anger spirits. No other person in the whole world can, not even me. Mother, did you hear that? How could the chief priest of Umele help me when he had vowed never to help his only son before the oracle? How? Why is what? Father, I'm not lying to you. It happened today. And as I'm speaking to you here, his people would be going to Awaka's compound to pay Isiaku's bride price tomorrow without him. This is because Uzuma planned to strike Azuka with another epilepsy seizure during the ceremony. If she, should he go there? Father, according to the Dibia they consulted, you are just the only one, the only one who can cage the angry spirit of Uzuma. Failure quit if she returns in 16 days. She will kill the both of us. And you heard me vow before the gods the last time never to get involved again, didn't you? Such vows can only be broken with the blood of a virgin. And that is a sacrifice I am not ready to offer for the sake of rapists and murderers like you. Go and tell that to your useless friend. Hey, Papa, I'm your only son, oh. You don't have another one, I'm your only son, oh. Hey, okay. Since the day I saw you murder that innocent woman, my own late brother's wife, I started regarding myself as a man without a son. You may not know this, but let me tell you the truth. You are already dead in your wickedness. Oh yes, look at you. Instead of feeling remorse for what you did, you went ahead to spread wicked lies that Uzuma ran away with a stranger to a distant land in order to avoid taking care of her little children. By the way, how many times have you and that your wicked friend gone to see those three little orphans? None. You know what? You are too wicked to deserve my sympathy or that of anyone. Now get out of my sight before I strike you dead myself. Get out!
Did he agree? He, he, he refused. He refused. Azuka, my father wants me to die. My father wants the Zuma spirit to kill the both of us. I don't, the problem is, I don't know why he, he Hey! Azuka! 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 Hey! Azuka! 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 such a thing. Iberichi, you don't understand. Did you hear them at all? I did. They said that earlier today, Asuka climbed the pear tree to block pears and got stung by angry whaps he accidentally the stop. Then he fell from the tree and sustained injuries. That made it impossible not to be here to commence your bridal rights. Iberichi, tell me. What's, what's so bad that you're here vowing to me that you will never marry him again? Listen, everything about it is bad. It's a very bad sign. In fact, it's a bad omen. If the bride or the groom is involved in any sort of accident on a day like this, according to our traditions and custom, listen, my sister, for this, I will never marry Azuka again. This marriage will not hold. It's your home. Here you are, my pretty angel. You see, Akunaya? My daughter, everything is set. Your father sent me to bring you to perform the acceptance wine rite. Eh? Mother, who am I going to hand the wine over to? Is my husband to be there? Is he there? Of course, my dear. His people explained why he is not here. And uh, Ojindu, his uncle, is here to represent him. Our custom allows that. And that won't work for me. Not in my marriage, mother. Tell them that I won't be part of anything they are doing here today if Azoka is not present. Pa! Are you out of your mind? Oh, you want to disgrace this family, eh? Come on, will you follow me? It's alright. If you force me to come with you, I will. But I will still throw the wine on the floor when father gives it to me. What? And you know what that means? in our culture and tradition that marks the end of this marriage. Ibirichi, mother, please. I've been talking to her for almost half an hour now, but she wouldn't listen. Ibirichi, I'm... Ibirichi. Nai, I want to talk to you. Privately, please. Privately. It's urgent. Nai, she refused to come. She even threatened to pour away the wine. Please, I'll join you soon. In Savannah. Isiako. Isiako, please. Isiako, please just listen to them. Hmm? Oh, God of our land. Isiako. Is... Everybody, get up, get up, get up. I said get up. You see, I can look at me. Is it true what your mother just told me? Yes, father. Even the threat to throw away the wine if you are forced. I, I... Father, I will never marry Azoka unless... It's okay. I will not force you. Nay. Yes. The Igbo man does not force his daughter into marriage. Not just as a matter of principle, but because it is forbidden 
in our customs and tradition. I'm only Igbo. I'm a Igbo man. I'm Muslim. Okay? Father, are you serious? Oh yes. But before I leave here now, let me give you a vital piece of information. Three days ago, as you girls were returning with your mother from the from the farm, you saw a young man with two elderly men leaving our house. Yes. Didn't you? Yes, I did. Good. The young man came here to seek for a marriage and a marriage. And your sister has accepted. Oh yes. In three days' time, they will be here to perform the marriage rites. Hi, uh, um, is that true? Yes. yes. Now, in the customs and tradition of whom we're the community, if there are two or more medians in a family, all must marry in their order of seniority. And if for any reason the younger one happens to marry before the older ones, the older one automatically becomes a taboo in her father's house and must take up temporary residency in her grandparents' home until she gets married herself. Your mother was an only child, as you already know. And your maternal grandparents were long dead. Their house became so dilapidated that their neighbors had to demolish it seven years ago. Also, the disagreement your mother had with your uncles over the disposal of your grandparents' properties. They don't even care if you are alive. Now, if you stick to your gun here, yeah, I will just go and tell Asoka's people to forget about the marriage plan. But before doing that, let me inform you that if your sister gets married before you, you will become a vagabond. Is that what you want? Is that No cause alarm. Yes. Part of the things my daughter went to wear to appear before you was locked up in a box inside the house. Okay. So I went in to give them the keys. So uh, very soon they will check. Oh, that's the guy you went. Oh, 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 Father, I call you here to inform you that the Beretti's husband and his people will be coming here in four days' time to conclude the marriage. Why? Father, why the urgency? Her bride price was just paid three days ago. I've accepted to marry Azoka. Why not mine first? My dear, in a matter like this, the groom has the final say. Myself, as far as the bride, I cannot say anything. Mother. Excuse me. Wise one, the last time we came here, you said we should give you good five days. This is the sixth day, and nothing we've said nor done could make him change his mind. Not even the suicide threats 
from his son could make him change his mind. Please help us. Oh, 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 wise one, this few days had been a trying one for me. That seizure in all. Only the gods know why my fiance has not caught me in any. I, 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 these days I spend almost all my days indoors. Please, I beg you, help me. I don't want to be disgraced publicly by this epilepsy and my marriage to Isiak ruined as a result. I love her so much. I don't want to die. There is nothing you can do. Nothing you can do to change Ibudu's mind. I just returned from a meeting I have with him in the spiritual ring before you arrived. Oh my, please. He fell on deaf ears. He has made up his mind to accept the worst rather than help out in the case. How? Oh, because of my ancestors, help me. Help me and I swear never to rape again. I will never rape again. Wise one, please help me in this situation. I promise and I swear here that I will help in fact, I will take care of uh, Uzuma's children until they grow into adulthood. Please, I beg you, just give me a way out. I pray you. Yes, wise one. There must be a way out. Please help us. Help me. I don't want to lose my only son. Please. The only way out is to kill him so that another can take over his post and cage Uzuma's spirit for you. Wise one, kill a priest to a powerful deity like Ibudu. What kind of a human being can possibly do this? Only the one that will succeed him can do it. And who is that? Achike. Oh yeah? Achike? No, Achike cannot do a thing like that. Achiki that I know cannot take away a strand of hair from his father's body, let alone killing his father. Achiki cannot do a thing like that. Um, but then find a way to force him. Else my hands are off your case from this moment. Uh, why son, please? Please help us. I am true with you. Out. You must be out of your mind, Azoka. How could you? How could you tell me to kill my own father? Ask me to kill my own father for you? It is you and I, Achiki, that our lives are being threatened by an angry ghost. Yes, an angry ghost! Huh? Azoka, you are not serious. Yes, you are not serious. In fact, if it is why you called me to this place, I am out of this place. Azuka! 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 Give me bring my necklace or Azuka! 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 Message me bring my Azuka!
Wadika, wadika, mbacha guli. Mana nazi guli, alonza galata. Agobo kali jebu abanasa. Wani kenga madiri ile swenyako. Wani kwa buteni ya mabakota ni azo. Iko buteni ya mabakota ni azo. Oh komel, ana buni ya juu kuku. Onguludo, ah? Oh komel. Silent. What is your mission? Wise one, wise one, my manhood, my manhood, my manhood, wise one, my manhood. Uzuma took your manhood, and you are here. Am I Uzuma? Wise one, please help me. Help me. My father even refused to listen to me when I ran to him for help. Hmm? Please, Nai. Hmm? I, can't, I can't face this disgrace. I can't. It, it, it's, it's, a, it's a big disgrace, Nai. Now you're not told that only you can save the situation yourself. If your father refuses, do the necessary to recover your manhood. My hands are washed off your case already. And for your information, you have ten days remaining. Ten days before Uzuma returns to kill you and Azuka. Kill your father, else you die. Leave now! Mother, I don't understand the kind of life one is living. You cannot have peace of mind even for one hour and kitty. You can't. But you cost huh? it yourself. Somebody will attract a problem and some other person will solve the problem. Why is this one different? Azum! Eh? Azum! Ah! You see, you see, my love. <laughs> okay. Mother. Mr. Yaku, how are you? I'm fine, Mother. I'm here to see my husband. Um, uh, come with me to the kitchen. Um, Mother, that should be when I'm done. I need to see him and discuss something very important with him. Well, I'm sorry you can't see him. Why? I just heard him call me. I know. I'll, I will explain everything to you later. Mother, are you seeing clearly? Do you still know the person you're talking to? The person standing before you is Azoka's wife. And I said I need to see him now. Isiako, I am neither blind nor deaf. I know you. But I have told you that you cannot see him now. Period. Azum! Oh, mother. Azum! Azuma, I need to see you now. Mother is blocking my way. Beg in the name of the gods. I need to see you now and discuss something very important with you. And mother is blocking my way. Isiako, are you disobeying me or something? Not at all, mother, but I need to see you. Is it true that your younger sister's wedding is coming up this weekend? Correct me if I'm wrong. You have come to appeal to my son, Azoka. So that he can fix your wedding on or before that time to avoid you being forced out of your father's house. Well, I take your silence to mean that I'm right. If that is why you're here, just get out of my compound or I will delay your own wedding till next year. Mother, did you just say that? I did. You heard me correctly. 
You heard me very well, Isiako. Live in peace, or you will be forced to live with your wicked maternal uncles for another year. How do you choose? She has been in this house. Where is she coming back from? That I never knew where she left for the place. Uh, Nanya, I don't know. I learned from her that uh, uh, she's not in the house. And she refused to tell her where she was going to. And she came back, locked herself inside? Isiako, open this door now! No! No, father, go away! Isiako, you're talking to your father. Where are your manners? Gone to the coast land of Miss Bodger's mother. My manners and my other as a woman have been stolen by this girl's mother. Yes, I am nothing but a walking dead. A walking man's love. Don't go away. Isiako, I am going for my embezzle. And if I come back and stay with this door, Lord, it's only to go to the that that will save the day. Isiako. Please open the door. No! Isiak, Isiak. No! 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 No, just let me be. Let me be. Allow me to wallow in pain. Let me be. I will not open the door. I will not open the door. Please take it easy. Now take it easy so that you won't injure her. yourself. <coughs> you cursed beast. Find it or you will die disgracefully. I know. I know. So where is it? Use the same weapon you've used to kill your father to force the answer to that question out of my mouth. You cursed beast. Go ahead. You cost me. Oh! 
Now, talk now. Azuka, we are finished. How? Uh, did your father escape? No, Azuka. I killed him as we planned. <laughs> yes. But there's a problem. problem. What is the problem? Azuka. You said that is a problem. What is the problem? Azuka. Without the Akadiki, his official symbol of authority, I cannot take over from him as the chief priest of Ruruala, and nobody else can. And he refused to tell me where it was before he died. Hey! Azuka, I've searched everywhere, searched every corner, I cannot find it. Hey! But why did you kill him before? Hey! 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 That means I'm going to die. That means Uzuma's ghost is going to kill me by the time it returns. Hey! Calm okay. down. Oh, okay. I should calm down. Azuka, calm down. I should calm. Let's let's. It's, 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 it's okay. It's okay. I I I'm calm. I'm calm now. Eh? I, at least I know that I I I am going to die by the time Uzuma's ghost returns. I will die calmly. But I am going to die. But that will be. Oh, wait, I don't want it. Azuka, come to me. Do you think I'm enjoying this? Azuka! 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 Oh, oh, oh. Put this all together! Oh. Stop this, Azuka! Stop it! Stop it! Do you think I'm enjoying this, Azuka? I just murdered my own father in cold blood just to save the both of us! Go back to me and find out where the Akadiki is before it becomes too late. Stop this! That's why I give me the knife. Give me! Give me, give, 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 give me the knife! Let's go before it's too late. Let's go. Azuka! Where do you go? Oh, one no, two, no, one, two, no, one. 
Neither me nor any other Dibia can help you, no matter how powerful. Unless you first find and possess the Akadike, whoever that tries to help you shall be instantly struck to death by the gods. The warning has already gone round the spirit world. Uh, 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 how can that be, wise one? Mm. Ozuma's spirit is. Ozuma's spirit will never spare the both of you. Unless Achike find the Akadike and get installed as the next chief prince of Oruwala. And in that capacity, Kajis her angry spirits himself. Uh, uh, wise one, that is why we're here. Where can I find it? I mean, the Akadike. Please, please. Spare us, please! Please! No, please! Please spare us, please! <sighs> Young men, Uruala and the spirit of our mother priest are indeed angry. And for my own safety, I will speak no more on this issue. And no Dibia will do for the same reason. And should any of you approach any Dibia or any deity, for same issue. Both of you will be struck dead by Urala that moment. What is it? Mother. I'm going to die. Eh? I am going to die. We are going to die very soon. Very, very soon we are going to die. How? I mean, what happened? How did it go? Bad. Very bad. Very bad. You mean that Chike refused to do it after your threats? He, he decided to talk to the, the, the elders instead of doing what he said he should do. Asuka, talk to me now. Eh? Asuka, talk to me now. Asuka! Asuka! Two hours now, father left to look for Isiako in the forest behind the house. I just hope they are okay. Or should we inform the villagers about this current situation? No, no, your, your father warned against such action unless he comes back without Isiako. He did? Yes. Gods of our land. Who could have made Isiako behave the way she did today? Could it be Asuka has come to some kind of harm? May the gods forbid, not my own in-law. Father, Mkem, what happened? Abomination, Mkem. The worst form of abomination has happened in the Uwele community. Nay, what happened? Did this Yaku harm herself? It's not about this Yaku. As a matter of fact, I didn't see her. Hi. Then talk to us. What happened? Shh. I found the chief priest of Uruwala murdered in good blood in the forest. <laughs> Father, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Mother, I'm so, so sorry. 
Yes, it is. Wait, 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 wait. Get up, get up, get up. Thank you, Father. Uh, Isiaku, did you go to Badia Forest today? Yes. Uh, no, no. No, no, no. I didn't. When I left here, I went to Idigo community to apologize to Azoka over some bad behavior I put up when we had disagreement. I'm sorry I didn't take your permission before leaving, just that I... I understand. I understand you are very sad about the fact that you'll be leaving this house in a few days' time. Is the foul of Oruala. Ashike, go and release him. Immediately release him. Vindicated you for allowing you and the fowl that was hung around your neck to be alive from yesterday till this morning. That means you did not tell us lies when you said you had no hands in the death of the chief priest of Oruala. You may go now. Chiadaka. How? Are you... Do you want to let him go? But who, who killed my father? And how did they kill my father? We have done what the custom and tradition allow us to do 
in a situation like this. Our car survived the night in this compound with the spirit of your dead father and that of our angry gods and ancestors. This shows that he is really innocent. He did not kill the chief priest of Orala. That means he did not kill your father, Ibudu, as we suspected. Exposing and punishing whoever that did that now lie in the hands of our gods. Now be the next to take over from your father. The ball is now in your court. But without the Akadike of Oruruala, there is nothing I can do in that regard. That is why I said the ball is now in your court. Take up the foul. From this moment on, you are a total stranger in this compound. If you step into it without the Akadike of Urala, you shall die. If the fowl in your hand dies before the Akadike is found, you shall also die. But the gods forbid. You all know I'm the only son of my father. According to the customs and tradition, they will not bury my father in my absence. And he shall remain here until the Akadi case is found. But that is unfair. In the open like this, what if he decomposes before? Nothing will happen to the corpse, even in a thousand years time. Your father's corpse is in the custody of the gods. But his spirit will know no peace until he is properly buried. This is unfair, Elvas. Yeah? This is so unfair. Why don't we just consult the oracle? No oracle anywhere in the world will speak on this issue. Lest I forget, as soon as you leave this compound, you are forbidden, for whatever reason, to leave Umwele. Otherwise, you shall die. If you are still in this compound, by the time we bring down our hands, the gods will strike you dead. Gods of our land, I can't believe I sat back and allowed the youths of Umwele drag my own father out of this compound yesterday, accusing him of murdering the chief priest of Urala. Despite what I knew about the mother, I said nothing. What if he has come to some kind of harm? If Achike could kill his own father, what wouldn't he do to cover up his track? What if he has had my father and mother too to make it look like it was him who actually killed his father? How can I ever forgive myself if that happens? Can the reason for my wicked silence even if I succeed in the end. Ever justify my own father's death? He's innocent and I know it. Yet, I chose to... Father!
Achike. 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 Father. Please. Please. Father. Why did you do it? Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me, please. Please. But you killed me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just... Show me where the Akaniki kind of is. Yes. I swear. I swear. I, I won't... to my home, your home. This is our matrimonial bedrooms. <laughs> <laughs> Obim. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for everything. Thanks for making me proud of you. By doing what the king's man demanded. I'm so happy. You ought to be my dad. Today is your day. Our day. In fact, I am the I am happy. I'm the happiest person. You happy. But you didn't dance very well doing the bridal dance in my compound. Your father's compound. Now my compound is yours. I'm talking about dancing. I've never been a good dancer all my life. But later tonight, we will see who dances bedroom dance better. Oh, better still, let's start. Um, no, 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 stop. Stop it. You're making me scared. How? Well... I've never done it before. <laughs> it's okay, my love. I won't hurt you. You're my wife. Rather, I will make it a day to remember with smiles for you. <laughs> it's okay. That one is over. Let's go out and attend to the maidens that came back with us, okay? It's okay, my love.
Wherever it is in this forest, I will find it. I can't take what is happening anymore. I can't. I can't. Huh? I must find this Akadiki wherever it is in this forest. I must. I must. Chike. You! But you're supposed to be at your maternal uncle's house. What are you doing in the forest close to your father's house? Don't tell me you and your family have been desecrating our land by allowing you to... Achike, my family is not like you. Meaning what exactly? I heard everything. I followed you all the way from your house. What? Yes. You mean you heard everything I was saying here? Of course. I was there when you did it. You were there when I did what? When you killed your own father. I heard all you said about the Akadike. Do it! And you can never find the Akadike. I am with the Akadike. I took it that day you killed your father. And no one knows where he did. Hi, Mama. Be good. Please. Please forgive me. Forgive me for trying to hurt you. Save me. Hmm? Save me and Azuka, your husband, by releasing the Akadiki to me immediately. Oh, please, please. Keep quiet, you liar. You want to blackmail my husband, right? Blackmail won't bring you out from this fix you're into. I am Just not. come off it. I'm not blackmailing you. Yes. Azuka, your husband is deeply into this. We, we went ahead and raped her several times over. And when we were done, we killed her and buried her in the forest to prevent her from exposing us. Gods of our land, you did what? Our people were told that Uzuma abandoned her children and followed a different man to a distant land. Yes, yes, I and Azuka started the rumor and we helped spread it. This is to prevent is anybody from conducting a serious search for her. Gods of our land, how could you? How could you be so mean? How could you be so heartless? Come, come, come. Don't tell me you and Azuka are the hooded men who had been abducting and raping young girls for the past seven years in this land. Your father was the Eze mom. How come he didn't tell our people? Or Orala didn't reveal all that to him? I'm his only son. Our people would have executed me had he spoken. The times are indeed evil. So tell me, why did you kill your own father? Ozuma, her ghosts have been on rampage of recent. She wanted Azuka and I to report ourselves to the elders. We refused. Because doing that would have meant instant death for the both of us. Because of that, she attacked Azuka on the eve of the day they were supposed to come to your compound and commence your marital rights. I struck him with, with epilepsy. Azuka! Epileptic! No. No. This is unbelievable. Hold on. Was that the reason he didn't come to my house on that day? Edibia. Edibia told him and his mother that if he ventures into your compound on that day, he will have seizure during the proceedings. The worst is that Zuma threatened that the next time she returns, she's going to kill the both of us. According to Edibia, the only person 
that can cage Uzuma and her angry spirit is me. That I can do if I am fully installed as a chief priest of Uruala. And the chief priest of Uruala cannot become without the Akadike. Time is fast running out on us. Please, give me the Akadike. Save me and your husband Azoka. of our land. has reported everything to the elders. The youths must be on their way here, on the orders of the elders, to arrest me. I will not. They will not get me alive. I found this rope in a nearby house I broke into. I will not. I will not allow my fellow human to humiliate me and then kill me. No. Not after what I went through. Not after what I've been through. The tortures I already went through in the hands of the gods. No. no. They would not get me alive. They would not. Zuma. You have won. Zuma. You have won! Congratulations. Congrats! Congratulations. You have won. Zuba, you have won! Achigi! Achigi! They will never get me alive. Yes. If you want to escape, go alone. I am not going anywhere. Look, I, I... I did not run away. No one is chasing me. No one is pursuing me. Then your wife is yet to get to the elders of Itigo, your own community. Isiaku knows everything. <laughs> she saw me kill my own father. She has Yakadike. I begged her to... To, 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 to get it so that you can save our lives. 
But she ignored it and ran away. She didn't go to the elders as you thought. She ran straight to my house. That's not possible. No. Is I could lose everything. I told her everything. She knows you are epileptic. <sighs> yes. When she came to my house, she saw me having seizure. I, 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 my mother and I, we begged her. We cried to her to have a deal with her. A deal? Yes, a deal. Don't do it. Let's discuss it. How did it go? Fine. I got two train tickets for both of us. We'll be leaving for Enugu in two days time. Wow! That's so nice. So you mean me, Ibirichi, will go to Enugu to start living with city people? Ebim, you're not only going to Enugu to live with city people. You're going to live with me forever as your husband. That is number one. <laughs> well, you know, even in my innermost heart, you are and will always be my number one. <sighs> and you are indeed my number one. <laughs> <laughs> So, is my food ready? Mm-hmm. Just give me a few minutes. I'll dish it now. A few minutes. Okay. <laughs> Cam, Hope him. Where is the food? Hope him. Oh, my wife. Um, let me get you water to wash your face. It's okay.
Wrap it in it. I'm innocent. Please believe me. Please, I beg you, I'm innocent. Just please. Uh, 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 what is this, Inanna? We asked you to help her pack out her belongings. Since, according to our tradition, she cannot enter that house for the rest of her life. Where are the things? My elders, we have worse abomination in our hands. She did not accidentally buy rabbit meat from the Indigo Market. As ever the things, she killed the sacred rabbit. What? What? No. You're lying. My heart is, is lying. I swear. I did no such thing. Please believe me. I did not do it. Shut up. Shut up, bitch! How do you mean? I opened her box to pack her clothes for her. Right inside it, I saw a dead rabbit. Dead rabbit. Hey! Wakwe, give me your hand. Awaka, give me your daughter's hand. No, I'm innocent. I did not do it. Dear Mama, do you think I will do something that will separate us forever? You know I love you with my soul. Please, I beg you to believe me. Are you asking me that? Yes. Fuakwe, look at me. Just look at me. Can't you see innocent bodily written in my eyes? Can't you? Do you think I would do such a thing? Father, you're my father. You know me very well. You know me, elders of Umele. Please believe me. Please. Wagwe, oh. do it. Wagwe, please don't. Please don't do it, I beg you. Before your father and the elders of Umele, I cut off the link with you. Beverage. Having separated yourself from from our people by killing the symbol of our brotherhood, I cut off anything I, I have with you. No. No. Oh, please, please, don't, please. <laughs> Walk away. I'm innocent, I swear. Munana, go ahead with the rest of separation. Hmm. Long by the Nipa, the dear Bubbe. Dalapu, the Mongisia Nyoko. Gaga Nobu. Hmm. When I left. The great founder of our community left his land of birth with his sons and wife to find a settlement for himself. They encountered many dangerous elements on their way. It was you 
We have been talapo. We have appeared before him. If I'm a rabbit, that led the way. And our great ancestors followed. They trusted you. And you never disappointed them. Several months into their sojourn, they arrived this environment. And at the very spot, the rabbit got the niche. Took up a residence. Signaling them that this is the place he chose for them to occupy forever. In appreciation, he allowed his sons slaughtered seven fowls. The sacrifice they made that day, which we, the descendants, tributed yearly, became the essence of our brotherhood. From that day on, the rabbit, in line with the instruction he gave to them, became the sacred symbol of our brotherhood. We are forbidden from eating rabbit meat. Whoever does will be separated from the rest of us for seven years. And whoever in our midst that kills a rabbit, you told our ancestors, must be separated from the rest of us forever. And none of you will have anything to do with such a person, or the person becomes a taboo too. The culprit shall not drink water from our land. Neither shall she eat anything produced or cooked in our land. This must be her lot till the day she dies. And if for any reason the culprit leaves Umele, he or she will never return. Or whoever she makes contact with on stepping on her soil dies instantly, having broken the seal of our common brotherhood by killing a rabbit. We are here before you, with the Bereti, the evil woman who has broken this norm. Release to me the pot of suppression in Talapu, that we may once and for all crown her a contagious taboo in Umwele. Talapu! 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 <laughs> Ona kan ta boke ma ngudi si anyoko. E kene kon ba na egwe kike nti. Eh? Mo na egwe igwa go. Hmm. Eberechi, step forward. They are not my children. Like I promised, I have stolen the pot from the abode of Ntalapu in the spirit world and I have handed over to your people, Achike. And now, the ritual that will make Eberechi a taboo in Umwele for the rest of her life is about to be accomplished. As you know, if the pot had failed to appear, it would have proven to them, there and then, that she is innocent. And that would have rendered every of your efforts useless. Uh, uh, but, <clears throat> wise one, um, you mean uh, the gods did not do anything? When you got to them to steal the pot. Even the gods sleep, my son. Ntalaku was asleep when I got there. Mind you, the gods may be silent sometimes. But one thing they abhor so much is injustice. Ntalaku will be angry when she wakes up because of what happened. For Eberechi is one of her daughters. And her daughters she protects fiercely. She will definitely fight back, and that she will do with all the guts of Umwele. When the battle will start, I cannot tell. But when it does, all of you involved in this and many others 
will be consumed within minutes. The only thing that will save your life is the Akadike in your hands. Do whatever you must to get it for your own good. Go. 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 Why is that okay? What is it? What you want to make your money to call you? No, 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 please, 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 no, 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 ah! pulled it off successfully. Very good. Beautiful. So when did he say Edoechi would do as he controlled her to do when the ritual is over? Uh, he didn't say... Oh, oh. Uh, Ezuma, mm. thank you very much for... for... Eh? He said thank you. Uh, mm. bam, bam, bam. I didn't do what I did to be thanked to. I did it for a fee. Go, 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 go. Give me, give me, give me. Give me, go, go. <laughs> Relax yourself. Imagine the way you rose up like it. It's alright. Eh, uh, Ajiga. Eh? Give it to him. Ah, okay. Yum, yum, yum. Eh, okay. Yum, yum. Until I am happily settled with Uwakwe as his wife. Forget it. I, you see, many are going to die, including all of us here. If you do not release the Akadike to him, that was exact word from Ume. Try something else. You won't bring me down with your cheap lies. I am not going to succumb to that. In fact, I am out of here. Oh, 
that you get bust. Bust. Bust that you get. Have you seen it? I don't put up the tree. Please do bust. Do bust. Do bust. Do bust. Have you seen it? Happened. You left here before daybreak to go make inquiries from Mume about why Ebeyechi didn't come to this place as he said she would come. Had she killed herself? Ume? Ume is dead. Ume is dead. I saw his corpse. I saw his corpse when I went to the shrine. When I went to the mother, the place was was a scene of full chaos. His tongue was, was sticking out of his mouth. Gods of it go. They have killed him. Yes. It's only the gods that can kill a man like that. Hi. Gods of our land. This is not happening. Now, what are we going to do now? I don't know. I don't know. Azoka. Eh? No, this is not happening. Lay your cursed hand off me. Tell me, what game are you people playing with me? Game? What? We're not playing any game. We're... Obviously, you take me for a fool. Having secured the Akadike for Achike to solve your own problem. You killed Ume. What? Fool? No, 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 that cannot be true. Okay, uh... that is not true. Okay, after this discussion last night, we waited in vain for your sister to show up. She did not. I went to consult Ume. How could I kill such a powerful Dibia? No, you tell me. Asuka, tell me. I only agreed to be part of this because of the deal we had. The deal that you people will help me destroy my sister's marriage. Get her not only banished from Umelo, but also frustrated that she will come to this place seeking help. And that help we agreed that you only give if she agrees to marry you. Thereby making way for me to become Owakwe's wife before my father returns the bride prize today. Before me, Ume said that she would come to this place yesterday, running and asking for help. Until now, that hasn't happened. Which leaves me wondering if there wasn't any conspiracy against me by all of you. Conspiracy to get Akadike for Achike and frustrate my own plan. Um, Isiako. I swear with my life that that is not the case. Even me too, I I I, I swear I just shut up. Get Eberechi to marry you before midday. Else I will tell the elders of Umwele land everything I know about you and Achike. Yes, go in search of her if that's what it takes. Midday. No more, no less. I'm dying. My tears, my denials, and my pleas. Never trust any of them. Not even my husband or my parents. 
look at me. Look at what they reduced such an innocent girl to. They tore me away from my husband and separated me forever from my own people. Please, please help me. Help you? How? I'm tired. I'm dying of thirst and hunger. I ran away from Umwele village. And having done that, I can no longer return there. I have been to all the neighboring communities, met with several people, but they all drove me away. Please, please, I beg you, I beg you, help me. I don't want to die. Please, I beg you. Those people who drove you away had good reasons for doing so. Anybody who sees you knows that you were banished for an abominable act. And no reasonable man would want to have anything to do with someone like you in his family. I'm innocent. I really did not do what they're accusing me of. I'm innocent, I swear to you. Well, that is irrelevant now. You are a taboo in the land of your birth. That is the only reality that matters here. You cannot remove that item on your head. If you try it, you will die instantly. Anyone who tries to help you, as a matter of tradition, must have to know that you will spend the rest of your life with him as a matter of tradition. Are you not aware of that? I am. You are. And you chose to come to this place. Are you not also aware that even if these items on your head is removed, you will never have any form of contact or relationship with any indigenous of Umele for the rest of your life? Eh? Okay, if I decide to help you as tradition demands and take you in, what becomes of my marriage with Isiak? Didn't you see the way she ran the moment she saw you? Didn't you see? How dare you come to this place? How dare you come to me alone? I, 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 I want to smash her head. How dare you come to this house? Don't touch him. Mother. He's my husband, he's dying. He is my only son. He's having epileptic seizure. Epilepsy? I don't understand. Mother, what is going on? I'm sorry we hid everything from you, but I will explain. Ex what? What do you want to explain? That the man I call my husband is epileptic and you hid it? Is that what you want to explain? Mama, listen, this is over. I won't do this again. It is over between your son and I. I won't have anything to do with whoever that comes from this family. Stay away from mine. It's over. It's hey, shut up. Tabu. Excuse me. Well, that makes us Two people with two big problems. You need someone to take that item off your head and give you a roof over your head for the rest of your life. And I need a maiden who will be my son's wife despite this. Deal? You are a young man, my wife and I 
have come to love and accepted as our son in the last few weeks. When you see us sad, it is not because of the dowry you paid on a parish that you are here to take back. But what giving it back to you means for our relationship from now on. The abomination I believe she committed yesterday has actually robbed us of the children. You walk away. And I believe she, my daughter. You are my son, not just an in law. I wish I have another. I wish is it's not yet given out to another man. I would have given her to you to replace a Bereshi instead of doing what I am about to do now. Oh, God of whom well, eh? Why me? Why me? Why? Awaka. Pull yourself together. Waika, dry up your tears. The feeling that the both of you have just expressed, Miss Moshua. Uwakwe <laughs> here cried all through the night. He cried himself to sleep last night. Not only did he love Ibereshi so deeply, but he also took you as his parents. You know, he lost his parents as a boy. Like you, his loss is immeasurable. And what is about to happen has compounded everything for him. On our way coming to this place, he kept on echoing and repeating exactly what you just said. I wish they had another daughter. I wish Isiaku was not yet married. Why? Why? The gods of our land, why? What could have put my ability into this type of fact? How could I have... How could I have lived with... Uh, Araka, this issue is a spilled oil. Let us get over with it. It is. It is, my brother. It is so work with. Oh. <laughs> There is disaster. What happened? Uh, Azoka's mother just left my house. She said that um, the Birichi ran to their house this morning and stripped herself naked in the open before her and Azoka. Huh? She said that she did it because she wanted Azoka to marry her. You are lying, aren't you? No, no, I'm not lying. And as we all know, uh, having seen her nakedness in the open, Azoka is forbidden by our custom and tradition from having sex with any woman all his life. Ije, the, 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 the mother, did she say anything about their next plan? Um, um, Azoka and the mother have no other choice than to agree. You know, Azoka is an only son. The problem now is how to disclose the news to Isiako. And uh, as even he can, she cannot even come here. Because she cannot face you. That's why she sent me. Hello. Hey. 
Here you are. It worked. My husband's kinsman who went to your compound told me that Wakwe has accepted to take you in place of your sister as his wife. Seriously? Yeah. So they said I should bring you back home. Oh, precious Wakwe's wife. <laughs> oh, so good to know. Ahem, Azuka, hmm? what about Iberichi? Uh, yes, uh, she just finished taking her bed and was eating her food when we left her to this place. Uh, the sacrifice in the shrine did not take time. It didn't take long. At all. Uh, uh, how about your own side? The installation did not take long. We immediately finished with the installation. I have caged the spirit of Uzuma. And my man hold is back. <laughs> I guess everyone is happy because I am happy. <laughs> Come and see with your own eyes. Yeah? Come and see with yourself. Come and see with your own eyes. You're very itchy. How long will you continue like this? For three days now you have not eaten. You've not slept. You've just been crying. Why? It's about time you forgot about your past and move on. Who are you even mourning? Uwakwe? Uwakwe that does not care about you? Uwakwe that, that joined others to drive you away from the land of your birth like a common dog? Uwakwe that connived with your own parents and replaced you with Isiako? Instead of collecting the bright price he paid on your head. No. You're lying. You're lying, aren't you? She, she, she's not lying. When we went to Umuele to return Isiaku's bright price, we saw him discussing with your parents. We, we never wanted to tell you this. You know, knowing fully well that it will get you devastated if you hear it. So we, we decided to keep it away from you. Yes, my dear. Uwakwe does not deserve you. He does not deserve your tears. He doesn't love you. Why don't you just put the past behind and move on with life? Why don't you embrace those who were empathic enough to bring you in when the whole world rejected you? Asoka and I, are we asking for too much? Of course not. Eh? We are not. Eh? Put a smile on your face. Eh? Give me, give me that acceptance hug. Let's let's live together as husband and wife, and and, and face the future together. Eh? Yeah. Eh? Please. Mama. Mother. Oh, oh j j just calm down, son. Just calm down. I've already started seeing positive signs. Positive signs? Positive signs where? Calm down, son. Calm down. Why did we hide it from her these three days? Because we didn't want to tell her and she would run away. Now that she's aware of it, where did she run to? Our own house. Of all places. What does that tell you? Time, my son. Time. Time heals all wounds. Patience. There is no storm patience or time cannot weather. Be patient. Come with me.
What are you doing here? Who, who showed you the road to our farm? I asked around. You asked around? Why? I mean, what happened? That you couldn't wait for, for us to return? Nothing. Nothing happened. Just that while I was in the house, I had serious thoughts about my life. My past, my present, my future. Then I made a decision. You made a decision? <sighs> About what? About... About us. I have decided to forget my sorrows, as you and mother advised. I will accept you wholeheartedly, as my husband. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry that it took me this long to do that, despite you people's good deeds towards me that saved my life. Please forgive me. I'm sorry, mother. this night I thought you said you've accepted me as your husband four days ago why are you still denying me my entitlement as your husband is, is there anything I need to know no but honestly the news you gave me about my sister the day you came back from the farm threw me off balance emotionally what news oh oh Oh, the news about this year can work with traditional wedding next week. <coughs> yes. Please, my dear. I want you to understand how traumatic everything is to me. And doing anything that requires deep emotion, like what you want to do now, will be very difficult for me. Please, if you really have respect for me as your wife, then let's wait a little. Maybe till after their wedding. Eh? After your sister's wedding to your former husband? I... I... I don't get it. I don't. Azoka. I have now accepted the reality of my situation. But somehow... Some part of me still lingers with Owakwe. And the only way that can be stopped as if I finally get married to my sister. So please, I beg you, just wait. Be patient. And I promise, after the wedding, I'll be all yours.
you doing here? Get out of this place! Why are you all shocked? That I touched you or that I set my face in this place? Yes, you told me never to come here again. Oh, just shut up your mouth, Lord. is not your husband? Get out of this place, you cost Babu. Why are you dragging me? He is mine. Uwakwe belongs to me. It's a lie. You are a lying dog. In fact, there was no black hole. You killed the sacred rabbit, Eperechi. You desecrated our land. And yet, you all are still alive. After I made physical contact with all of you, you're still alive. They cling to my husband. What is really your plan, Isiaku? To take Uwakwe away from me after frustrating me to the house of your own epileptic husband? Oh, you shut up and leave here at once. Take your cost self out of this place so we can continue our transition our wedding. Now! Not on your life. I am pregnant. I am carrying Uwakwe's baby. And as a pregnant woman, I see it on this car and demand that you confess everything you know. Else, Amadio will strike you down the moment I bring my wrist hand down. Elders of our land, please. Yes, Yaku. Amado are the god of thunder. This is also the god of pregnancy in our religious tradition. He will obey her if you know something and fail to say before she brings that. Are you confessing or not? This has to come down on the count of seven. One, two, three. Yes. I carefully planned my revenge. I made sure I killed every child the British mother had a favorite before they were three months. Yes. I killed I, I, I tried to kill a British but it didn't work out. Even when they caught her it is cassava the shrine. I planted it. I planted it with food. inside. I didn't find her inside. Ebere! 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 System! Oh. What? What did you do? What did eh? you do? Okay. What is it? Okay. Let's go. Go to where? Go to go, go where? Move, move, move to where? Let's go. Move. What happened? Go to where? Go to where? Move. What did you do? Move. Go where? What? Go. What move did you do? Move. Let's go. What did you do?
Okay. I can't believe that a week after what happened, you're still brooding about it. I'm sorry. But no matter how hard I try, I just can't get over it. Despite everything, Isiako was still my sister. My own blood. How could she? How could she allow envy to lead her into such evil league and conspiracy? How could she get herself involved in something that made us suffer such disgraceful fate? Imagine my own sister hanged in the evil forest left alone to rot away dangling on a rope like a common animal it's okay it's okay yes Let's go inside. Nemo, Nemo, I come out the water. As in the more, I come out the water. Nemo, Nemo, I come out the water. As in the more, I come out the water. Chiala 